if you're eating your salmon every day or you're getting enough omega-3s every day, but you're also consuming seed oils on a regular basis, then you're not gaining any benefit from the omega-3s that you are taking in because the seed oils are canceling out all of those omega-3s. Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Zaldivar and welcome to my channel dedicated to helping you achieve your ideal body weight. How may an omega-3 deficiency have stalled your weight loss in the past or at least made sticking to your diet plan very, very difficult. An omega-3 deficiency causes depressive and anxious mood states, which could be the trigger to have cravings for addictive foods that will raise dopamine levels in your brain and make you feel good again. And so if you've had issues with mood swings or are currently struggling with that, you may wanna look into your omega-3 blood levels. What happens to a lot of people is that they have an omega-3 deficiency which is contributing to their negative mood swings which is causing them to eat sugary and carbohydrate rich foods that will normalize their mood but then the long-term effect of consuming those sugary and inflammatory foods is that it's going to contribute to even more inflammation in the brain and more mood swings and that becomes a vicious cycle and it's important that you stop it somehow an easy way to do that is to correct an omega-3 deficiency how do you do that First, minimize inflammatory seed oil consumption. That's because for every one gram of those seed oils that I will list in a second, you cancel out any benefit you may have gotten from consuming omega-3, let's say in the form of salmon or some other fatty fish. So those two kinds of fats, inflammatory seed oils and omega-3, they compete for absorption to your body. And so if you're eating your salmon every day or you're getting enough omega-3s every day, but you're also consuming seed oils on a regular basis, then you're not gaining any benefit from the omega-3s that you are taking in because the seed oils are canceling out all of those omega-3s. What are the seed oils that I'm referring to? Canola oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, peanut oil, cottonseed oil, soybean oil, corn oil, and grapeseed oil. Those oils are possibly just as unhealthy for you as eating pure white sugar. The second way to increase your omega-3 levels is to eat more fatty fish and omega-3 rich foods. Why is it important to get the omega-3 from your diet? That's because omega-3 is an essential fat, meaning that your body cannot create it by itself. It absolutely has to get it from the diet. And it's important to get your omega-3s from mainly animal-based sources because that's the only biologically active form in your diet. So you wanna get it from caviar or fish roe, or fish eggs, or from salmon or fatty fish. Why? Because if you get your omega-3s from plant food sources such as chia seeds or soybeans, that omega-3 is in a form that's not biologically active. And only 4% of that type of omega-3 can actually be utilized by the body. So if you can just eat one and a half ounces of salmon per day, or even half an ounce of fish eggs or fish roe per day, that's gonna give you all your omega-3 needs for the day. Other food sources that are also rich in omega-3 include Atlantic herring, sardines, corral, wild trout, and wild oysters. The third tool at your disposal to address omega-3 levels would be to take supplements. You can take krill oil, fish oil, cod liver oil, or even algal oil if you're vegan. My recommendation is to take krill oil, and that's because it's better absorbed than fish oil. Because it's high in the phospholipid form of the fat as opposed to the triglyceride form of the fat. In fact, you can take 30% less omega-3 from krill oil to get the same benefit that you would get from fish oil. Krill oil also contains an antioxidant called astaxanthin that is part of the oil, and it protects the oil from getting damaged or oxidized by oxygen and so that way you're not taking pills of rancid oil. I recommend you take at least one gram of omega-3 oil per day but doses as high as up to five grams of omega-3 per day have been proven safe without increasing risk of bleeding or suppressing your immune system. And for your convenience I will list in the description box below multiple brands of omega-3 supplements that I feel comfortable recommending to you and that are of high quality. Finally, you can test your omega-3 levels with a test called the Omega-3 Index Test. It is offered by a company called Omega Quant and your results can be classified into three risk groups. 
high risk group, intermediate risk, and low risk. But just so you know, most people will probably be between the high risk and intermediate risk. That's because most of us, unfortunately, are either severely deficient or pretty deficient in omega-3 levels. So to save you those $50 that you would have spent on that test, I think it's safe to recommend for most people to take an omega-3 supplement on a regular basis, in addition to consuming omega-3 rich fatty fish and fish eggs. I hope this helped. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for plenty other videos coming your way of a similar nature. And make sure you hit that notification bell button so that you are alerted every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share with your friends and family who you think might benefit from this information and leave a comment below, say hi or ask me a question. I love to connect with you guys. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.